Silver Cross Video Magazine today is highlighting our procedural care program and specifically the PACU. And with me today is Mima Mori, RN Procedural Care Team Leader. So Mima, let's start with what does PACU mean? What does it stand for? PACU stands for Post Anesthesia Care Unit and then basically we are the recovery room for surgical patients. Wow, and we have a lot of surgical patients here. What would you guess, how many per year? Um, I'm saying that we see over 20,000 um, patients a year in our recovery wow. room. That's a lot of responsibility. So let's talk about you. How long have you been at Silver Cross? I'm gonna be going on my 10th year here at Silver Cross. Oh, big anniversary coming. And we will have a party <laughs> one of these days to celebrate your anniversary. Well, thanks for all those years of service. Great, thank and you. What's the career path to become a team lead in a PACU? So um, most of my years were in the emergency room. Mm. So I worked 20 years in the emergency room as a staff nurse, and then I actually became a charge nurse down in the emergency room, and then um, was a manager for the critical care areas of the hospital that I used to work at, which basically was the ICUs, the telemetry units, right. and the emergency room. And then I worked as a house supervisor for a little bit as well. And then after that, I worked on a cardiac step-down unit, and we basically recovered patients after their open-heart surgery. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. You've seen it all. I have. And now yeah. it's kind of full circle because we have cardiac patients that you're recovering again once Correct. we opened the open-heart program. Yep. Yeah, how's that going? Great. Yes, great. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going great, too. So how many people work in the PACU? So we have 21 staff nurses in our recovery room. Um, and that's it, just nursing is all that we have up there. We don't have any nurses' aides right now. Um, we just have nurses, basically, right. in our department. Do, we, um, do you also recover children? We do. We um, have a big number of patients that we see from Lurie's, because obviously Lurie's is affiliated with Silver Cross. Right. So we get a lot of ear, nose, and throat patients, um, and we get a lot of ortho cases as well. Um, you know, Dr. Johnston, Dr. Fuller, right. um, they come here, Dr. Rosenthal, they're all Lurie's doctors, yeah. so we see a great deal of their patients. Right, so it's, it's a whole new volume with them joining the medical it staff. It is. And, you know, go back 10 years, what have you seen in terms of changes, in terms of, you know, patients recovering and how we do things today versus 10 years ago? Um, well, obviously, surgeries are less invasive, which mm -hmm. is great. So the recovery time isn't as bad as it used to be years ago. Right. We're sending patients home now um, that years ago we kept in the hospital. A lot of ortho cases can now go home. Um, you know, hysterectomies, women that have hysterectomies can go home same day wow. now. Um, we see a lot of cases of um, hips, total hip replacements that can go home, and we're even sending some knee replacements wow. home as well. So it's kind of nice. That's the big difference that we're seeing. Not as invasive of surgeries and recovery time yeah. isn't as much as it used to be. And we're doing a lot of anesthesia blocks on patients where we are not having to give as many narcotics to patients coming out of surgery now. So those are kind of really nice to have. And we do those on our orthopedic patients. So we'll do a lot of blocks prior to surgery. And um, it's very helpful for their pain sure. control. I'm sure people really appreciate that. And I know you have a terrific team because I read the patient satisfaction comments and scores and really a phenomenal team. What we would you do. like to say to your team that you want everyone at Silver Cross to know? So we have um, all of our nurses are critical care background. They've all been nurses either in the ICU or the emergency room or previous recovery room experience. They're all ACLS and PAL certified. Mm -hmm. They get that certification every two years. We're a very team-oriented department to the point where some people can't believe how much we help each other. A patient comes out of surgery and everybody basically is at that bedside helping wow. each other out, getting that patient situated. Once that patient's situated, then we just kind of leave that nurse alone to manage that patient. But we're a very, very team-oriented unit. That's fantastic. And your leadership is terrific in there. You know, the times when I've walked through and seen you in action, you are really team oriented and you are a great leader. So thank you and thank you for all those years of service. Thanks so much, Ruth.